What's up guys, Press Young here, back from another video. Happy New Year to everyone. And, and of course now it's the 2nd January. If you're in America, it will be 1st January until 12pm Malaysia time. So you are considered 2nd January. Now, of course yesterday I didn't do a video. So today I'm going to do a video. Today I'm going to talk about the iPhone 12 Pro Max in early 2021. Where should you get it? So I actually use this phone I think one and a half months is going to be a two month old phone soon and currently running on iOS 14.3 and iPhone 12 Pro Max is the one under its way worth in 2021 right now until September when the new phones come out uh, and also the other models like the smaller 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. Now all the iPhone 12 lines all came with the A14 Bionic chip, they all in 5 nanometers and of course, Qualcomm also released Snapdragon 888, also final minutes to compete with the iPhone. But it seems that the iPhone has taken over it. But we'll see day to day live usage and also speed test. Now, for this Trouble Max, it has 6GB of RAM. Same goes to the small 6.1 inch iPhone. If you are choosing the iPhone 12, Trial Mini, then it will be 4 gigs of RAM. So, this device it has a triple camera setup, single and small one, but the difference between the small and big one, the Max model has a bigger lens and which is can take good photos compared to the 6.1 inch and then the storage we have three storage 128 256 and final trap this is a 256 model and got it now there are colors there's the pacific blue they got the gold color they got the silver and they got the graphite which is actually the same as space gray now if you the box when you buy it this always only come the cable and some referred all those sim tray everything the sim ejector 2 and usb type c i don't use this one i use back the usb type a the lightning i just buy one cable so that's it so i think you can just charge it using my child wall i bet a charger and of course there's no earphones but i'll still use this one the earphone lightning to listen to songs because I feel this is the more convenient way to convert the airpods and to charge it regularly and when you like no charge you have to charge it up again now now for this one it's run on iOS 14 you can see the home screen how iOS 14 looks like it has the new widget area like this or you can add widgets on the home screen if you want to now this is also available this software but down to iPhone 6s which is great good thing Apple support that this is now of course you can see there's a new widget app is all on iphone 12 pro max now for the price of this this is a 1099 us dollars if you want to for 120 gigabyte model you want to get this one and 999 and for the regular 6.1 inch iphone so good thing apple increased the storage 128 so people don't have to buy the 256 gigabyte just because of that storage now, if you buy this model in Malaysia, five seven nine nine. And I'll put a link down below if you are very interested to purchase this device and also purchase the Malaysia one, and which is machine. And in if you want to prefer get the Apple, I'll give you Apple.com. I'll put a link to it so you can get it properly. But the link I'll put in the US, just in case you live in the US, you can show where just click it rather than you have to change the country. But for machine, it's only valid in Malaysia, so keep that in mind. Now, the colors that I choose Pacific Blue because limited edition color and when the new model come out, they will remove the Pacific Blue model. And, and if you buy this one, it's actually a really good color. I know some people don't like this color, they prefer other colors. Gold is the second choice and then the graphite and also silver. And between among them, I think Pacific Blue, you should get this one. This model is more green. I know there's a reflection because of the case adding on this is how it looks like i and of course this is the wallpaper i don't use this wallpaper i feel that uh, this is not nice i use the other wallpaper so it's great now this phone supports 5g now don't buy this phone just because of 5g internet buy this phone for good 4g internet speed because in the previous model they're all using intel modems which is built by intel but this time apple choose qualcomm which is actually a good move because qualcomm always makes some great 5g in the connection for this Yes, and not only they bump up the 5G, they also bump up the 4G speed as well. So if you are using an iPhone 
Char Pro Max, Pro, the regular Char and the Char Mini, you will unlock the 4 speed will be faster than Intel modern chip. So buy this phone if you're interested in the speed of the 4G cellular. Don't care about 5G. 4G is enough for you. I think like until 5G is stable, then if they feel very convinced, they're only good. But right now, 5G millimeter wave is only available in the US. If you are buying this phone in other countries, it will be sub 6 gigahertz. And if your country like everywhere, let's say you live in a place that's coverage at high 5G, then you may consider upgrading. But if you're a person just like mm, 4G is fine for me, this is also a good purchase because this one gives you five, uh, 4G fast data downloads and upload speed. So of course it's good. Even at two bars, it can get very fast. Plus, sometimes it's only up to like 20 megabits per second of the download, but with this one, my one able to achieve 4G or 50 MBS download, so that's a good thing. So that's a huge, huge improvement over, over uh, the old Intel old chip. Now, also, oh, of course, I just talked about, now we talk about the battery size, okay? So the battery is size of this 3687, previous model is 96, you know, I know. But because of the efficient chip, they actually, I think around almost the same, just one or different. But I'll say that this actually give me a full day of battery life. Like, I start from 8 a.m. from 10 a.m. until 9 time 8 p.m. It only left 20%. So I think this is actually a good thing. So if, but those only those people who don't play games, you like usage, you watch YouTube, you watch Facebook, then those things are perfect for you. If you play games, maybe consider the charge around 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then, and then someone, if I do really, really like using, I don't use the phone much, it can last me three days of battery. And now it's the third day already, so I didn't charge. You can see right now, it's at... 50, 54% right now, which is actually a great hit. Now, of course, talk about display, this 6.7 inch display, 6.1 is the pro model, the regular is 6.1, and the smaller one is 5.4, this 6.7, by the big model, if you want to enjoy the bigger display. Now, if you're a person who cannot, like, cannot hold hands, uh, I don't mind the screen size, the pro model, small one is good for you, but be in mind about the camera, you got to affect the camera or how you take the pictures on it now this one actually has the lidar sensor for the augmented reality it has the triple lens camera i think the main and telephone they just swap one around while the pros that's on top the ultra is great nine mode is great as well you know? and i would say this is a good purchase for in 2021 like right now 2021 this phone is good, but in Christmas, this one I think is around third and fourth place of smartphone activation on the phone. But I think mostly we get the small model because it's cheaper, so I get it. And the iPhone 11 actually the most small uh, activation. And there's literally nine or ten of the chance only iPhone takes the win for the small activation. So yeah, take the iPhone if you're interested in faster 4G speed, faster processor, better cameras. Mm, what else? Uh, it has the 128 base storage, good colors. It has the, it has the battery that can give you full day of battery life, which is also good to hear that. And, and if you're interested, and also you want to, those wireless people, MagSafe. If let's say I'm a wireless person, I like to use MagSafe. This phone is a good for you, and MagSafe fitting one fast charge good for you. So yeah, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.